Oh. My turn. And uh The computer. Right. <laughs> Thank you. 
let you know this is Champ. As my wife explained, it's really cool. A group of people who has the Holy Ghost and full revelation of Jesus Christ. They helped write this and added a lot of commentary, ex, um, expansion, explanation down at the bottom to help explain and connect and what the verses mean. So I really suggest that you guys buy it. So now, this is a picture of Paul and he's expressing his own experience. It's really fascinating. His experience about being caught up. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1 through 6. Paul's vision and his thorn. But we're going to focus on his visions part right now. Paul says, it is not expedient, meaning benef beneficial for me to doubtless to glory or to boast about myself. I will come to visions, revelations of the Lord. So Paul is having experience of, of people being against him and, and confronting him and having doubt against him. They're against his teaching and, and preaching of Jesus' name. And they're saying, you know, you're kind of a false, false prophet. You don't have experience. You don't have spiritual experience. And they're kind of blaming him and, you know, saying you're, you're big-headed, you're proud. But Paul does have experience. And Paul says, you know what? It's not good to boast about myself or does it do you any good, but I'm going to have to tell you to defend myself. So it is not expedient for me to doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord, meaning I will go ahead and tell you anyway. So Paul's saying here, as a man, I'm not boasting about myself, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the story that I've experienced. And like Paul, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tell you, I know I've said it before, and again, I'm not boasting about myself, but it's good to share my experience so it <clears throat> so you can understand what Paul is, is saying here as well. So again, last year at death conference, my wife and I, we were standing, and I believe it was Saturday night. And we were standing at the altar call. And we went up together, and we were praying. And there was in both hearing and depth there, and everyone was praying. I wasn't concerned about what others were doing. I was focused on praying with my wife. And 
And I know what God's presence feel like. I know what speaking in tongues is like. I've done it before. It's his spirit that makes it happen. And through that, through that heavenly language, I don't know what I'm saying. I, I, I can't explain it, but it just happens. And I know it's God's spirit working through me. Later, after we got done praying, a young lady came up and she was crying. She came up to us and she said, do you speak Spanish? And I don't know why, I, I, I don't speak Spanish, I can't speak Spanish. And she said, you spoke beautiful, perfect Spanish. Say, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good. Yes, he is good. He filled me with the Holy Ghost. When he gives you that Holy Ghost, that shows you his forgiveness and his mercy. Now, same as Paul is saying, you know, it's not beneficial for you, for me to boast about this, but I'm going to go ahead and comment. I'm going to go ahead and tell you about his glory and my experience with him. And he says, I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. And Paul is explaining about himself here. And the man in Christ here is meaning a spiritual happening. give you another verse here. Same, uh, same book, 2 Corinthians. Chapter 5. Verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ... He is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. So Paul had become a new man. Okay, so remember that. Parentheses have been added for your information and a little bit more explanation from Paul. It says, whether in the body I cannot tell. Or whether out of the body I cannot tell. Meaning I, I don't know if, it, if I was inside my body or outside my body. It was a spiritual thing. My soul went up, or my body, my actual body went up. I, I don't know, but God knoweth. Such and one caught up to the third heaven. The Bible says the first heaven is the sky, second heaven is the universe, and third heaven is where God actually lives. And it's very, very far out there. And 
verse 3. And I knew such a man, whether he was in the body or out of the body, I can't tell, but God knoweth. So Paul Paul knows he, he experienced this, this spiritual happening. And it was absolutely amazing. So again, Paul is referring to himself, how that he was caught up into paradise. And that is where we will go up with Jesus as well. And there's another verse here in Luke 24, or 23, and 43. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, another man on the cross, he's saying this too, today shalt thou be with me in paradise. This is, that's exactly where Paul is, is saying he's experienced, he's, he's gone to already. like a week ago or so we explained about the rapture the Greek word harpazo ponzo this is meaning the same the word caught up to be plucked or taken away heard unspeakable words so again Paul was caught up into paradise and he experienced things that he cannot explain for example John had a vision and he was able to write about it Paul had this experience, and it says, which is not lawful for man to utter, meaning he, he witnessed and he heard and he seen things that God was like, do not speak about this yet. Maybe God showed Paul the same thing that John seen, and even more. Of such and one will I glory, yet of myself I will not glory, but in my weaknesses or infirmities. I will boast about God and his great greatness, but I will only speak about my weakness. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth.
But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. Again, he's done all these great things, and people have heard and seen him do these things, great things, but some people still have doubt and still say that he's false. And he's saying, I'm not doing these for my glory. I'm, I'm human. I'm weak. I'm the same as you. No one's perfect. But I rejoice in my experiences and the power and the preaching of his name. It's all about God. There is a paradise. Hallelujah. We have a goal. It's important to make sure that we're all saved, that we've all repented. We've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the mission of our sins, that we all receive the Holy Ghost. And Paul even said, I, you know, I, I'm thankful I've spoken tongues. And he's encouraging all of them that they can do it. And Paul says, I die daily, meaning he repents daily, every day. That was proof that he's not perfect, that we all have those weaknesses. And again, he's like, I'm not boasting about myself to benefit myself or to benefit you, but I'm telling you my experiences that you can learn. You know, these apostles, they got to experience so many miracles. And there was a, a, a gentleman from our church that recently just died on an operating table, but God brought him back to life. He has a resurrection power. But my point today, that Paul got to see paradise. And I believe whatever his word says is true. God bless you.